As the U.S. looks to dig itself out from the global recession, the importance of a strong manufacturing sector sector can't be overstated. We recently traveled to Rochester, New York, where what's old is new again in more ways than one. Don't look now, but it seems the rumors of America's manufacturing decline may be greatly exaggerated. And it's all thanks to a little-known process called remanufacturing. Rochester, New York has become its thought capital, and Dr. Nabil Nasser is leading the charge. My colleagues in Germany call me the Pope of remanufacturing <laughs> uh, because I feel like I'm preaching about the value of remanufacturing. Not to be confused with refurbishing, where defective parts are replaced, remanufacturing completely disassembles the equipment, evaluates every part, and reassembles a new, improved version. Cheaper, uh, lower environmental footprint, same quality and reliability that you expect in a new, in a new product. Remanufacturing actually isn't new. Henry Ford was an early innovator in the 30s. A scarcity of materials during World War II further popularized the practice, and now it's experiencing a sort of renaissance. The Rochester Institute of Technology built an 84,000 square foot research facility dedicated to the process, and it's here where Nasser and his colleagues help American companies innovate new remanufacturing techniques, often at significant savings. You're able to bring one of those to like new conditions, so you're probably talking about $50 or less. It replaced something that would have been uh, $550 uh, brand new. Even the furniture in the student lounges is remanufactured. Now, after 25 years, the Institute has become an important source of revenue for RIT and a prop to the entire regional economy. It spun off one company that was number four in Rochester's top 100 of private companies. It's that kind of, of sustained impact that makes this kind of facility such an important asset for our region and for the state. Here with us now, Group President